Well, if you've got a television set in your house, you know perfectly well that the media have been celebrating creepy porn lawyer as a resistance hero for months and months now. But it turns out they're not just celebrating him, but actively protecting him by withholding damaging information about him from you, the public. Two examples of this. Last June, creepy porn lawyer told Time magazine that the Democrats absolutely needed to nominate a white man in 2020. Now, saying something like that would have instantly wrecked his political career as a Democrat. There's nothing that offends Democrats more than that phrase. But have no fear, Time did not tell you that. Democrats didn't know for months because they sat on the story. Meantime, creepy porn lawyer became a national figure. NBC News, by the way, did exactly the same thing to even more political effect. When creepy porn lawyer and his client, Julie Swetnick, accused Brett Kavanaugh of participating in a long series of public gang rapes, remember that? Creepy porn lawyer presented a sworn statement from a second woman that seemed to back up some of Swetnick's claims. You probably vaguely recall this. Well, two days after he released that sworn statement, the woman recanted the story to NBC News reporters. She said that CPL had, quote, twisted her words. In other words, NBC News had credible information that dramatically undermined accusations against Brett Kavanaugh. It would have been nice to know that before the vote, but they didn't tell anybody. Huh. Are you surprised? Well, only if you imagine NBC News was still a news organization and not a, a particularly clumsy arm of the Democratic Party, which, needless to say, they are, because it was, of course, NBC that leaked the Access Hollywood tape to the Washington Post just before the presidential election in order to influence the outcome of that election and later protected Democratic donor and accused rapist Harvey Weinstein. They did all that. And yet it wasn't enough for creepy porn lawyer. Even with NBC's assistant, it has been a tough couple of weeks for him. His client Stormy Daniels was ordered to pay Donald Trump's legal fees his theatrics during the Kavanaugh confirmation helped put Brett Kavanaugh on the Supreme Court. Now the law firm that he runs is facing eviction for failing to pay its rent. He's still one of the best-known Democratic candidates for president, though. How is he likely to do? Chris Hahn is a progressive radio host and a former aide to Senator Chuck Schumer. He joins us tonight from Long Island for a creepy porn lawyer update. Chris, it's great to see you tonight. Thank you, great to see you uh, for bringing us up today. So here's my theory. So creepy porn lawyer makes baseless charges against Brett Kavanaugh, accusing him of participating in a rape. He says all of these lunatic things. He doesn't pay his taxes. He's obviously a discredited figure. And not one Democrat criticizes him until he endorses the idea of, and I'm quoting, a white man running for president, at which point all Democrats are like, oh, no, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Why did anyone note that before? Uh <laughs> Hold on a minute. I have criticized him on this network several times and said he will never be the Democratic nominee for president. I do love his haircut. I think it's fantastic and very efficient. But I have criticized him politically. I think he is the reason why Susan Collins voted for Brett Kavanaugh, because I thought the Swetnick allegations were very outrageous and hard to prove. That said, he had an affidavit from a client. He was not the one defaming the president or defaming uh, Kavanaugh. It was the client. So uh, it is, it, you know, look, there are oh, lots no, of problems no, wait, with wait, him. Wait, wait, wait. He will I'm never, not, he's I'm a sensationalist. I, I agree with you up until there, but I just can't let you get away with the lawyer's dodge that it's the client. So it was creepy porn lawyer who brought these allegations forward, who took the deposition, who was the vehicle by which the rest of us know that these allegations were made. And by the way, these allegations were taken with dead serious times by every news organization in America, practically, not this show, but everybody else. And Democrats never said, wait a second, 10 gang rapes in a row? That's ridiculous. They stood I, and they nodded I their think a lot of, oh, it's very serious. A lot of people uh, took it, uh, you know, took it less than serious. And a lot of people uh, dismissed it and thought that this was adding something to what was some very credible allegations against Kavanaugh. And look, we call him creepy porn the, lawyer wait, because he represented a people, porn though? star. He represented, a, right? he represented myself. He represented a porn star who we know was paid money not to discuss her affair with the president of the United States. So there wait, is, wait, there, on, you know, no, wait, that's wait, why on, we wait. know him can as I just, a porn star. Can, can I just ask, lawyer. wait, hold on. Can I just ask a question? She took money for a voluntary sexual relationship in exchange for not talking about it. We used to call that extortion. Yes, the mafia specialized in it. But now we're totally cool with it, and we're blaming the guy who had to pay the extortion money. How does that work exactly? Are <laughs> we for that now? 
We don't we actually don't know exactly how that money was proposed. In fact, it could have been proposed by the person who wanted to cover it up, not necessarily the porn star who wait, wanted wait, to tell wait, her so story. We never you're got totally to the bottom cool of that. And the president, keep... the president's lawyers did settle the matter, so I think they were happy with the arrangement. Oh, so they didn't want to talk about it, therefore they must be guilty. But just for the record, I want to get this on tape. You're totally cool if people have a consensual sexual relationship and one of them no. gets money not to talk about it. That's okay with you? I'm not. If that person breaks the agreement no, and talks I, look, about it look, anyway, it's the it's the fault of the guy look, who paid her off not to talk about it? Like, what world is this? I, I am not <laughs> I am I am not in favor of extortion. I was just pointing out oh, you're calling okay. him a porn lawyer. We know why we call oh, yes. him a porn lawyer. We gotta remember why he's a porn lawyer and who he it's, represented. No. Not just it a wasn't porn like lawyer, he was arguing for more no. money from no, the no. porn stations. Yeah, he's right. a creepy so, so. porn lawyer. Anyway, just wanted to clear that up. Chris, yes. thanks so much for clarifying all that.